In this video is going to look at ROM. ROM stands for Read Only Memory and is part of primary storage in a computer. Um, ROM and RAM are known as primary storage. The hard drive is covered in another video, but that's known as secondary storage. So ROM and RAM are primary storage. It's used by the computer. Um, RAM is used for talk, storing temporary instructions that the computer needs to run run your computer basically, run your software and ROM is used for storing BIOS information it's used in a post check. So this is a ROM chip, quite an old ROM chip but this sort of represents what it would look like not particularly big, it's on the motherboard and what it stores is information about your BIOS basic input output system. So when you start up your computer, um, the computer will do a power on self test, it will do a post check, power on self test to check, it will check its hardware against its factory specifications and if it's okay, if it's fine, there's no problem, it will it will load your operating system. But if there's a problem with it, you've installed some RAM and it doesn't like it or you've done something to your computer or it's suffered some damage, you can't find the hard drive is a common one then um, it won't go any further than that. It will stop there and you will need to fix it. You will not be able to get into your operating system. It won't go any further further than the BIOS. And you can go into the BIOS and have a look, but probably what you need to do is sort out your, your hardware. So here's an exam question, an application of this from an exam question. So got a question there. ROM is a type of memory used in computers. Shade two lozenges to show which of the statements are true about ROM. Right. Desktop statement A: Desktop computers usually store application software in ROM. No, they don't. It's on the hard drive, so that that isn't true. We're not going to shade that. Uh, B: Desktop computers typically have more ROM than RAM. Definitely not. Not nowadays. You might have been able to say that. 40 years ago, but definitely not now. Um, you're talking kilobytes of RAM and gigabytes of RAM, so that, that definitely isn't true. C, RAM is commonly used to store startup instructions. Yes, that is true. That's what I talked about the BIOS and the post check. Yes, that is absolutely true. Um, ROM is non-volatile. Yes, that is true as well. And that that isn't true. That would be a graphics a onboard GPU or graphics card. Let's just go back and look at this word here, non-volatile. I didn't explain that earlier. What that means is when I switch off my computer, there's no power going to RAM. Uh, whatever is stored in RAM disappears. Um, I'm going to cover that in another video, but ROM isn't like that. It's powered by its own little battery and when you turn off your computer it doesn't lose its settings so ROM is non-volatile when it when it's not powered by the computer it still it still can hold the data it's got its own power it doesn't lose any data when you turn off your computer so that is a bit about ROM and an example exam question